This is Grandpa. Welcome to Grandpa's World. Today we're going to be in 904 AD in Turkey, Constantinople, and Prince Oleg of Russia. They started a war with the Greeks. He marched his troops out of Kiev towards Constant Constantinople. Having a large army of men, they were using horses, ships, and flying devices. Oleg found out that the Greeks were fortifying the small waterway and was in the process of closing up the city. Oleg pulled up to the shore and commanded his troops to anchor the ships. This resulted in a war with the Greeks that lasted months. Prince Oleg, growing tired of the small war, he started, started to decide it was time to end it. So they brought in flying horses, which they attached to the ships. The Russians also made wheels for the ships and added sails. Then they waited for the winds to come. When they did, the Russians spread out the sails, which enabled the Russians with the flying horses to launch the ships into the air. The horses are described as being beautiful golden color, and the troops, of course, were in the ships, and they launched their arrows with fire at Constantinople, realizing they had lost the war. Both emperors, uh, Alexander and Leo, agreed to pay tribute and bound themselves by oath to Prince Oleg, they kissed the cross. Prince Oleg was a wise but pagan ruler who had very powerful friends. So where did they get the flying horses from? We don't know. Must have been aliens. I guess, right. Okay. That's it for today. We'll see you later.